my dears, my dears, my dears, look at all this. Uh, it's made me feel very loved and valued, and right now at this time in my life, I'm not feeling that way. Uh, what we didn't disclose to you before, the man in my life that I loved more than life itself uh, left me uh, uh, about a week before Christmas. So part of this is heartache. And then uh, on Thanksgiving, I had to put my two beautiful wine runners to sleep. I'd had them for 16 years. And then I had my meniscus go out on my knee. Then I want to say two days after Christmas, I looked out in the middle of my field and a horse that I've had for 20 years, I delivered her. I brought her into this life. I watched her take her first breath, and then I watched her take her last. So I feel like, I'm sorry, I feel like, I feel like I've had nothing but loss for the last almost two, three months. Uh, the meniscus surgery, by the way, is very successful. I went to the orthopedist yesterday, and he said, oh my God, Patricia, you're healing exactly as you should, so I'm thrilled about that. So uh, he says we, we put off at least 10 years of any re knee replacement, which I was glad to hear. But to, to read your cards and to look at them and see all of these messages of love, I, I can't tell you how much it's meaning to me because right now I'm at a low ebb. Uh, we've got a dispute with my main publisher who is, uh, I can't go into it, but I think we're going to get this settled too, but this has been these last three months, probably the worst three months of my life. Uh, I have much to be, be thankful for. I have two very healthy children, two beautiful grandbabies, a wonderful daughter-in-law. I'm surrounded with people here that I love that, that do everything to keep me alive and, and literally pinch hit and, and hold me up. But look at this, just look at it. All of these beautiful letters and cards and photographs. And there was a small offering of money and thank you for that. We were gonna donate, it's not a whole pile of money, but we'll give it to one of the local charities. But um, I don't know how to thank you. Uh, this makes me feel wonderful and I, I thank you for it. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm very, I'm very emotional. Um, so thank you, my dears. This this means everything to me, and uh, you mean everything to me. And thank you for this. I'm just now getting back to work. I've got some wonderful stories coming out. I have a beautiful book uh, about the musicians on the Titanic called The Bravest Man in the World. I'm working on Quinn and Eddie. Now this is a book that I'm publishing myself, and please watch for it because it's a wonderful story of a blind dog and a deaf cat. And I had uh, Quinn, the blind dog, for a year and a half. Eddie I've had for maybe 15 years. Uh, but Quinn went away with his owner, who was the man in my life. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, mourning that loss as well. So um, I don't know what else to say to you. You have buoyed me up. You are made, making me feel... Uh, wanted and loved. Uh, what more could any person ask? So thank you, my dears. Thank you.